Hello all of my gorgeous YouTubers. I am back with another video and as the title of this video tells you, this is my top 10 favorite lip products for summer 2013. And I do have one honorable mention because I just couldn't narrow it down to 10 products. I mean, come on, 10? That's no. Anyway, um, a couple of them are higher end products, but for the most part, they are drugstore. So let's just get started. product is one of the bomb girls lipsticks from the bomb cosmetics and this color is called Anita boy toy and I just love the names of the bomb girls lipsticks I think it's just really cute and unique and I mean as you probably already know their packaging is very kind of retro and just really neat looking Anita boy toy is a frosty cool toned pink lipstick it's about the brightest I would go when it comes to a pink lipstick. I don't want to say brightest, but I would say lightest. It's pretty flattering, especially when worn correctly. It's a subtle but shimmery pop of color for the summer. The next lip color is from a drugstore brand called Jessie's Girl, and I've only found it at Rite Aid pharmacies. I haven't seen Jessie's Girl at Walgreens, but I mean, I could be wrong. They may sell it at Walgreens as well. I really do like this color from the Jessie's Girl line. It's called Bubble Yum, and it reminds me a lot of a cooler toned Candy Yum Yum from MAC. It's not as bright as Candy Yum Yum. However, it does have a hint of a neon quality to it. So I've been enjoying this this summer. Ta-da! Revlon. I have three Revlon products in this video for you guys. I love Revlon. It is my absolute favorite, favorite drugstore brand for lip products, specifically lipsticks. And I love this line. It comes in the green tube. It is the Moondrops line. And I love this color. It's called Silver Spun Rose. And it is a gorgeous pinky rose color. It is slightly frosty finished, um, but not too much to where it looks like you just ate a powdered donut. I think it is the perfect bright pink shade for my skin tone. Very flattering and I do believe it will be flattering on many different skin tones. These lipsticks from the Moondrops line are very hydrating, very moisturizing. Each of the lipsticks has just a very small hint of uh, a sheen to it or some sort of sparkle or shimmer to it. So um, if you're into that kind of thing, try these out. I don't hear these getting a lot of hype on YouTube, so I just figured I would talk about it and throw my two cents in about it. Sticking with Revlon, this is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in the color Lovesick. I love these kissable balm stains. I think that they're really great moisturizing, hydrating lip products, but also with a little lasting power because they are a semi-stain. And I think that's absolutely fantastic. This particular color is a gorgeous fuchsia color, very flattering on my skin tone. Um, I just love this stuff. It glides on. It's real quick and easy. It's something that you really don't have to pay too close of attention to when you're applying it to your lips. It's just a really great product to have and this definitely stays in my makeup bag during the summer. Yes, yes, yes. How can I talk about my top 10 favorite summer lip products without mentioning the Revlon lip butters? My favorite color for the summer is Tutti Fruity. It is a gorgeous corally orange kind of tangerine color. It's super, super hydrating as all the lip butters are. And it's that sheer to buildable color coverage. Love it. If you don't have it, you've been living under a rock. What the hell have you been doing with your life? If you live outside of the States or somewhere where you cannot access lip butters, then I don't know, try to find someone online who'll send it to you because these things are so fantastic. I love them. Wet n Wild's Purdy Persimmon. It's purdy. It's real purdy. Gorgeous tangerine orange color. It has a little like slight hint of red undertone. Love it. It's gorgeous. It's orange, but not really. It's very flattering on most skin tones, particularly darker skin tones. I have a medium dark skin tone. If you need a reference, I am C7 in MAC foundation. So I'm cool toned and I have a, uh, a darker hue to my skin. This is definitely a must have from the Wet n Wild Mega Last lipstick line. I do really like that line. They are pretty doggone good. They do last a little while. They're not as drying as a full-on 
matte lipstick. However, they're not as moisturizing as the next lipstick that I'm gonna show you. Fergalicious, okay. The Fergie line from Wet n Wild. Ah, oh, girlfriend, fantastic. Fantastic. I'm trying to tell you this is old school glam which is a gorgeous bright true red color these lipsticks are a little bit more moisturizing than the previous wet n wild mega last lipsticks um, they have a little bit more of a slip to them so I find it very easy to apply they have really great application and the color payoff is pretty good as well I will say they're a little bit um, a little bit more sheer so you know but again they're a buildable color coverage so you can just layer it on to get whatever opacity you desire but I love these lipsticks try them out they're super inexpensive of course because they're from wet n wild but Fergie line y'all Fergie okay get your Fergalicious on you know you want to try this get it mm -mm -mm. Milani color statement lipsticks oh my soul this is such a great line of lipsticks. You have your cream finishes, your frosty finishes. They are so smooth. They smell like heaven. Watermelon candy. Oh my goodness, watermelon Jolly Rancher. Faux show. I particularly love this color. This is called Rose Hip and it's a gorgeous bright blue tone pink, but I love it. This is definitely one of my utmost favorite lip products for this summer. Ba-bam, Rimmel Show Off Lip Lacquers. I'm only gonna say one thing about these, okay? And then I'll just leave it alone. Stellar. Got an OCC lip tar here in the color Queen. This is a gorgeous peachy pink color. I think it's very flattering on most skin tones. I love OCC lip tars. Who doesn't love OCC lip tars? I think they're great. Everybody thinks they're great. And I picked this one up from Sephora because I just saw it in a bin close to where the cash registers were and I couldn't resist myself. It's an OCC lip tar. I, I couldn't resist. As you guys already know, OCC lip tars a little, 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 I mean the teensiest bit of this stuff goes a long way. So this big old tube, I am gonna have this for quite some time. I'm so grateful for the fact that they are now packaged with lip brushes. I love that. I think that OCC lip tars are definitely a good investment in lip products. I know they sell other products, which I have not yet tried, but um, I'm totally obsessed with lip tars. Wait, hold up, before we cue the kids, I have to give one honorable mention. I have to include a lip gloss in this video. I'm not too much of a lip gloss girl. No, let me stop lying to you. I have so much lip gloss, but as far as wearing it on a regular basis, I don't. I actually gravitate more toward lipsticks and liquid lipsticks than lip glosses, but some lip glosses work so well as little accent colors in lip looks. And I'm always looking for that one gloss that is going to pop off my lipstick and I found it, honey. Summer 2013, all about the Gap Lip Gloss. This is a 24 karat gold color. I don't know the exact name of it because I think it was on the packaging. And when you take the packaging off, the name goes off with it. It looks like 24 karat liquid gold. It is gorgeous. Now, obviously I'm not gonna wear this all over my lips, but this is a great accent gloss just to put in the center portion of your lower lip on top of a lip color. Check this out at your local Gap. I'm not sure if it's at every Gap store, um, but they usually keep their lip products and their most of their cosmetic products um, in these bins that are close to cash registers. I love it. Check it out. All right, so that's it. I uh, guess we can go ahead, roll the kids. <laughs> Okay, so that's it for my top 10 lip products, plus one honorable mention. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please stay tuned because many more videos are coming as I build my channel. So thank you for watching, and until we meet again, stay blessed. I always look like so... What we got going on here? Is the lighting washing my makeup out?
is it really like do I look like kind of just too I don't know I feel like I'm being washed out a little bit except for the lips <laughs> I gotta get this lighting thing down y'all I have studio lighting and I <sighs> 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 rev 